Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com, and we got some new crates, which are pretty amazing. I'm going to break down what these crates have in them, how you can get them without actually buying crowns, and some of the top tier items like this, which I think might be the coolest mount in the game. Let's get started. Dark Chivalry Crown Crates. Two ways to get a hold of them. You can buy a bunch of these items with crowns, or like me, use your Seals of Endeavors, which I've been saving for an entire year, 16,000 which haven't been messing with them. In case you don't know about the Endeavor system, right here, Group P on PC, you get daily and weekly activities, which you can earn a lot of Endeavors over time, so you don't actually need to spend real-life money for this. Once you got some Endeavors accumulated, you come down here in the Seals of Endeavors, and it takes you to kind of the exact same interface with just different prices. So that's what I'm going to go over today with the Seals of Endeavor prices, and I'll pop over and show you the gems as well in case you're interested in buying them. Here is a quick graphic from my website of the gems and Endeavor costs for each of the items in case you're interested. First two up are the limited time offer and we got Azura's Blight Spriggan. People love their Spriggan outfits and this one looks pretty cool. We got the Azura Blighted Wild Hunt Steed, which is kind of a creepy deer, if you will, but really cool dark purple effect. So the limited time, 7,200 and 9,600 are what they cost in the Seals of Endeavors. Coming over here, it's 500 gems and 700 gems. Now we get the Motherlode Radiant Apex, and what I've been saving for a year is a mount like this. Holy guacamole, look at this thing. Uh, this is like God Slayer level. I don't know what's up with the orb there, but look at the glowing effect. Thank the maker, I've been saving this for so long, and this is well worth grinding out Endeavors. Wow. So 16,000 for this one let's check out the wolf pretty cool wolf preview here nice purple effect love the little markings on it looks really cool and this bear here is probably going to be mandatory for you warden fans out there that just love your bears so 16,000, 16,000, 16,000 with Seals of Endeavors will come over to the store and Radiant Apex 2,500 gems for this thing. Oh, wow. 1,600 and 1,200. Now let's move on to the Apex Rewards. In the Apex Rewards, we have one of the coolest polymorphs ever. And this is 8,000 Seals right here. This thing soul razor knight you're gonna see all the pvp sweats rock this amazing we got the soul razor wolf also 8,000 seals pretty cool we have a sweet roll i guess this is really important for housing but 8,000 seals for a sweet roll uh or this yeah i'm picking this now we got a bear up also really cool that same side of a glowing little spear ish and the same type of mounts here just in your different types of mounts so we got the guar the sunshine and the steed so the prices in the store for those Apex is 400 gems each. Legendary has a really cool skin right here for 3,600 Seals of Endeavors and some other uh, motifs and housing items. Chandelier. Silver Dawn style crafting motif. Honor Guard style crafting motif. Gold Coast Experience Rewards is 150 scroll. You can't see anything out of that. And then a Zerzog little mount here. Mage's Guild Stained Glass looks extraordinary for you housing fans out there. Moss, Blood, Imp, Epidermis. This person needs to go see a dermatologist. For 3,600, this is pretty cool for some uh, necromancer fans out there. Another little senche. Looks like an overgrown cat. Another really cool skin here. Reef Dweller. Aguar here. And then we got the Soul Razor uh, weapons here. So we got to start with the Battle Axe. You can see that kind of cool glowish blue effect. It looks really interesting. Got the bow here. A shield, nice big blue glow. The staff. 
and the sword, which is the blue one, not the purple one in the back. So these are all 3,600 seals of endeavors. If we come to the store, the legendary, pretty cheap in terms of gems at 100. All right, next up, we have the epic rewards. These are 2,000 seals of endeavors each, and we got a non-combat pet first. We got the blue fang shark mount for the furnishings. Next up, we have cutting edge, very edgy haircut. Oh, look at that. Next, we have the Dawn's Avenger helm. Heartland Butcher's Dog. Look at this guy. That is a pretty cool pet. Hermit Crab up next. We got Instant uh, All Research. Can't show that, but we got Lover's Quandary Flower. And now we have the Mage's Flame from the Furnishings Lighting. Next up, we have the XP Scrolls 100 experience. And then we have the Monarch Hairpin. Lovely little butterfly in your hair. Royal Courier is up next. This is a costume, not a polymorph, but a costume. So it's not a motif for 2000. Next up, we have the Hood of the Royal Carrier. You're going for the complete look. We have Scholar Spectacles. We have a mask here. Next up, we have a shell that looks like a Saved by the Bell phone or something. Nice little sound effect by the sea. Remind you of home. And then we have Zaji's Sailing Apparel. This is actually kind of cool. and <laughs> Pretty flamboyant colors there. For, for the epic, you're looking at 40 gems is the cost here. And now moving on to the superior rewards. These Dawn's of Vendors are kind of hard to preview since it only does one piece at a time. It doesn't script you down to the whole thing. But you can kind of get a glimpse of what this looks like bit by bit. Kind of a rough and rugged, pretty cool look. Moving on, you have a tattoo. Defensive Rune Body Tattoo. Interesting. Defensive Rune Face Tattoo. Glimmer Green Dova Fly Non-Combat Pet. High Isles Mariner's Body Tattoo. That looks painful. High Isles Mariner's Face Tattoo. I don't see much face tattooing, though. Knight of St. Palin's body markings. Looks like the Conor McGregor tattoo. Knight of St. Palin's face markings, and there is plenty of face markings to be had in this one. Mossy uh, Vardark? Ardvark? Uh, sorry, biologist. I think it's Ardvark. Nightcrest Fell Runner non combat pet here. Another non combat pet, Ruby Fledging Terror Bird. Rest in peace, the Dodo Bird. And now we have the Screaming Midnight Nick Sad. I probably said that wrong. It is definitely loud and screaming. And then we have the Strong Glow Imp. Now, these are a thousand each. Seals of Endeavors. You come over here to the store and gems, the superior are 16. Pretty dirt cheap. So, if you watch the Twitch, you probably should have a couple gems laying around there. 
Now, the fine and common rewards don't change throughout. So these are basically the same, and that's it. Now, if you're like me, very first thing I'm going to buy on screen is going to be this thing right here. Luminous Meridian Charger. 2,500 gems, but that's okay. I got Seals of Endeavors. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. The biggest, flashiest mount to hit the Elder Scrolls online in probably a while. Hope you got something out of this. I'll have a written guide on my website if you want to see the still images of them. Link in the description below, and I appreciate you watching.